Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. So in the continuation to our architecture series in the big data world, today we'll see what is Kappa architecture. If you remember in the last video we checked what is Lambda architecture. So today uh, we'll look what is Kappa architecture. So guys, let's start. So Kappa is the architecture is the simplification of Lambda architecture. So here in this uh, Kappa architecture, it is exactly same like lambda, lambda architecture except for the fact that there is no batch processing layer. So the batch processing layer uh, in the lambda architecture, uh, which was there in lambda architecture is removed and that is what makes the Kappa architecture. So here, even the batch processing layer itself is removed, uh, is replaced by all stream. So there is now only one speed layer and the uh, solving layer and data is simply fed through the streaming system quickly. So uh, a rule of thumb or uh, a tagline for Kappa architecture is that in Kappa architecture, everything is stream. If you remember, uh, so this is uh, the uh, diagram for the Kappa architecture. If you see, there is a streaming layer there is a serving layer, there is underlying data storage uh, to keep the incremental views and compute views. And uh, so, but there is no streaming layer and data is fed through these uh, append only logs uh, technologies like Apache Kafka, uh, where this is the canonical store, uh, which is used uh, to feed the data into the uh, speeding uh, layer and the and further to the serving layer and uh, things about Kappa architecture is everything is stream here there is immutable unstructured data source so this is an immutable unstructured data source that all the stream data coming to a system uh, or all the data coming into a system from different data sources like this would be uh, kept into a append only log and this would be used to fed the data into the streaming layer um, this is it's you can do uh, window windows on streaming layer like window function can be applied you can take a stream for a, a specific amount of time like 30 second 20 second or by the size and you can process that and produce a compute uh, compute view out of it uh, this architecture uh, makes it linearly scalable because now there is no another parallel layer if you want to scale it down horizontally, we can do that. Uh, if you try to look at the um, Kappa architecture with tech stack, it's primarily built with uh, technologies like Kafka. Kafka is used as a streaming source and uh, stream processing systems in the current context is used uh, from Spark, Spark streaming or Spark structure stream streaming. And then service layer, we use uh, Cassandra or any key value based NoSQL system to serve as a data mart. So guys, uh, Kappa architecture actually revolutionized data mig database migration, specifically database migration, because as we have seen, now data is fed into the streaming layer through these append only logs like Kafka or something. So anytime uh, we want to say migrate it to the other system say from dev to product prod We just have to populate new copies from the canonical store Like if we have just a canonical store and the set of data now we populate want to populate say from one environment dev environment to prod You know, uh, we just have to delete the uh, serving layer database and populate them from the append only immutable logs uh, which could be implemented with the technology like say Apache Kafka which is used to fed data into the streaming layer and also since there is no batch processing layer involved uh, we uh, don't have to maintain now two separate code bases and two separate code tracks uh, we, there would be only one code base which obviously is very easy to maintain uh, one important point uh, uh, you know, as we have discussed, I want to reiterate here, you know, uh, uh, Kappa architecture makes it a point that rather than using a relational DB like SQL or any key value st store like Cassandra, uh, 
Instead of that, the canonical data store in Kappa architecture system is an append only immutable log, which could be implemented with the technology like Apache Kafka. So if you checked in the first picture, that system which is feeding the data into the uh, speeding layer, that is what we are calling as canonical data store uh, is a append only immutable log. Append only immutable log, right? Uh, which obviously makes it easy to migrate the uh, databases. So this is a comparison between Lambda and Kappa. Just try to reiterate, make it more visual that you'll remember it. So here we had bash layer along with the speed and the serving layer, but in this is Kappa. Right in Kappa, we only have streaming layer and the service layer. There is no bash layer, so the bash layer is cut, and this made it a Kappa architecture. Apart from the fact that here, this is the canonical store to fetch the data into the streaming system in the form of immutable append only logs. Remember this, guys, I'm reiterating it a couple of times now. Uh, what could be called as the disadvantages of Kappa architecture or probably the complexity of Kappa architecture because here everything is a stream so uh, its, its complexities are related to how to handle these streams and how to process the stream you know uh, and which which primarily could be categorized uh, as the problems of say handling the duplicate events when the stream of data coming because we are trying to do a real-time processing uh, cross-referencing events say if event x came at say uh, at some time then another event y came at say after two hours so how we can do a cross-referencing between the events because we are processing the events on some window right how we hold on and how we'll do a cross-reference across different events you know maintaining the order of the events another difficult thing how to do the state consistency guarantee like it, whether it would be you know exactly once or at least once those all things are difficult to manage in the stream context so the complexity and the complications in the kappa architectures are related to the stream handling um, also you know to handle the stream uh, it, it's always tricky because uh, how to deal uh, how to maintain the resiliency against the stream imperfections or say stream data is coming null not num, n coming null order management all those things and all these things create complexity in the kappa architecture so guys that's it in this particular video have a great day ahead bye bye